Today we're talking about why moving to Saskatchewan might not be for you. Have you ever heard of a bunny hug? Well, what about Vico? It seems like a secret language. Well, we'll touch on why a gas station visit could turn you into a TV star. And a heads up, potash is not for cooking. But we have an unforgettable rink burgers here and Baba's pierogies and of course those long Saskatchewan goodbyes and picture perfect grain elevators. And hey, if after watching this video you somehow are still thinking of a move to Saskatchewan, of course send me an email. My info's in the description below. In Saskatchewan we have extreme weather temperatures here. Extreme highs in the summer and extreme lows in the winter time. I'm originally from British Columbia and I jokingly say that we have 10 months of winter here in Saskatchewan which is of course a deliberate exaggeration but of course we do have long and cold winters here in Saskatchewan. You will sometimes see temperatures of minus 35 or even minus 45 degrees Celsius in the winter time for a prolonged period of weeks sometimes two to three weeks up to six weeks of minus 40 degree Celsius temperature plus wind chill. It is land of the living skies however you will find beautiful wide open skies with temperatures and seasonal weather changes dramatically throughout the day and of course you will also see the northern lights if you're in the right place at the right time. If you are new to Saskatchewan you will find that driving in these winter conditions can sometimes be unfavorable and if you are from Saskatchewan and all of a sudden winter hits, you might have forgotten how to drive in these winter months, which is also very common. In Saskatchewan, we have four distinct seasons. Of course, we have winter, spring, summer, which is construction season, fall, and then of course, rinse and repeat. Saskatchewan also is in the middle of nowhere. Matter of fact, I say generally, it is just outside of the middle of nowhere. Calgary is a six hour drive from where we are, and Winnipeg is about an eight and a half hour drive from where we are. Regina is about two and a half hour drive south from where we are, and if you are to drive from Regina, which is our capital city, to McLean Lake, which is one of our big northern employers here in this province. I believe that would be a 14 and a half hour drive on a good day. Not taking into consideration the roads are terrible when you get further up north. And as well, the weather conditions need to be optimal and there's very few places to stop along the way as you get further and further north. Also, our airport here in Saskatoon used to be an international airport so it is now more costly to travel out from Saskatchewan because you need to commute to usually either Calgary, Vancouver or Toronto if you want to fly internationally. The job market does have limited opportunities outside of the major sectors. The major sectors are agricultural, mining and energy. Now however I will say we do have a significant number of jobs in those industries if that is where your interests lie or if that is where your expertise falls. Small town living. Well, of course, this could be a pro or a con, but I will say this. We are about 1.1 million people in all of Saskatchewan and probably close to about half of that population is in our two biggest cities, Saskatoon and Regina. We also do have other cities like Prince Albert, Moose Jaw, Swift Current, Yorkton, North Battleford, Estevan and Weyburn. But for those living outside of what we consider a city, which is about 5,000 people, that still takes into account what I estimate to be somewhere around 35% of our population, which would be somewhere between three and 400,000 people in Saskatchewan live in small towns less than 5,000 people, or on farms, of course, or in northern Saskatchewan. Of course, with small town living, you also have limited access to health care, fewer educational opportunities, fewer social amenities, where we don't have Uber Eats in small town Saskatchewan, and we don't have big shopping malls in small town Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan in general has limited recreational activity. However, I will note, since there is nothing to do, you might as well cheer for the riders, whether they win or they lose. It is one team and many, many, many fans. Tailgate parties. This happens all year round, any season, hot, cold, or otherwise. Somebody's out drinking and having a party on a tailgate somewhere. Going to the lake ritual, whether it is winter or summer. Everybody is always going to one lake or another. It just so happens to be that almost every lake is two and a half hours from anywhere that you want.
ought to be. I'm half kidding, of course. Curling bond spiels. Whatever that means, I didn't know curling was an actual thing until I moved to Saskatchewan and found out that everybody is a fan of the Rough Riders and curling. Of course, when the landscape is flat, when you're playing a sport where you throw a rock on flat ice and it's mostly winter for most of the year, of course, that is an enjoyable pastime. And again, I'm half joking because I don't physically actually know how to curl, but it's a thing. Ice fishing. Now, this sounds like a whole heck of a lot of fun. Go it into the middle of the lake, cut a little hole in there, try not to freeze, and hopefully you'll catch something. Ah, garage sales. This is a weekly activity. Saskatoon berries, they're not just berries. Saskatoon berry picking is perfect for that one week of the year that they are ripe. And Saskatoon berry picking just so happens to be one of our top tourist activities. And of course, don't forget the co-op coffee gatherings. In Saskatchewan and Canada in general, to be honest, we do have educational and healthcare restraints. While Canadian schooling and Canadian healthcare are free, they do come with issues such as incredibly long wait times for healthcare service, limited access to healthcare in rural areas, and shortages of staff for teachers, doctors, and nurses. We we also do have a certain amount of insect and pest issues here in Saskatchewan. Those pesky mosquitoes are everywhere during the summer months in the wet season for a certain period of time. The tick population seems to be on the rise as well, which of course comes with Lyme disease issues apparently. Agricultural pests are also an economic concern when those bugs eat the crops, then it's not good for the farmers. Gophers and rabbits will sometimes chew up the front lawn of small town Saskatchewan homeowners. And of course, we have wasps and ants in small town Saskatchewan, as well as from time to time, you will see what we call tent caterpillars. They will attack trees in droves and they will literally take down branches and sometimes entire trees, these little caterpillars and yucky webs that go with them. Limited public transportation infrastructure here in Saskatchewan. However, traffic jam is an unfamiliar concept here. Rush hour might consist of four cars waiting. Standing room only pretty much never happens on Saskatchewan Transit. And bus lanes? No, I don't think so. Maybe bike lanes? And yes, people actually do ride their bicycles in the wintertime around town here in Saskatchewan. And in small town Saskatchewan, you'll see people ride anything with wheels or tracks or skis and a motor and consider it no different than driving a regular vehicle. Ah, uh, small town mindset and small town politics. There is a big world outside of Saskatchewan, but don't tell the locals. The close-knit community sometimes feels exclusive if you are new to the community. The bureaucratic process here can be very slow and cumbersome and very old school in its nature. Everybody knows everybody, or at least they think they do. And new ideas are not always welcomed until you forthcome with one and someone else adopts it as their own. And unspoken rules are sometimes unknown if you're not from the area. And of course, do as I say, not as I do. And as I had mentioned, Bunny Hug is a hoodie, Vico is chocolate milk, and Corner Gas is the best show on television. Hope you found some value today, had some fun. Of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you are thinking of a move to Saskatchewan, send me an email. My info's in the description below. And I will see you on this video next. Have a fantastic day.